Made in 48 is what happens when two artists come together to write, record, film, and upload a brand new song and video in 48 hours. So here we are, Made in 48, episode number two, with Mr. Clit and the pink cigarettes. <laughs> well, he's not necessarily Mr. Clit. I actually have an interesting story about that. My dentist found out the name of my band, and I told him that no one was Mr. Clit, so he's like, I'll be Mr. Clit. I'll be Mr. Clit. So my dentist is Mr. Clit. Uh, <laughs> that's why we got these great teeth. Yeah. So Mr. Clit and the pink cigarettes, it's probably the most raunchiest name for the nicest bunch of people and coolest band on the planet. We did our first ever show at a place called The Doll Hut and uh, they were on the bill and, and we kind of uh, thought they were awesome and stayed friends. I was actually started out playing keyboards, David was on drums and Abby was just gonna sing. Because we just wanted to record something because mm -hmm. we had all the stuff in the basement and it was, it was fun to do. All of our friends just got together and started recording songs. <laughs> we were the three who actually wanted to continue on and do shows mm -hmm. with the music. Uh, they hail from Indianapolis, and um, they're this kind of three-piece, punky... Uh, I call them kind of art, punk... Nirvana meets... Rock and roll, blues... Uh, the Clash. Their own alien planet that doesn't exist meets... T-bone steaks for breakfast meets cereal boxes of blood and uh, kittens. A guy who runs a local studio uh, called Secret Ninja sent us an email and said, hey, I love your show. If you want to do the next show at my studio, come and do it. And I texted him yesterday and he said he's got like a few hours free today. So we're going to head down there after this and we're going to actually record in a proper studio. <laughs> This is our tour van. The big illustrious car. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. The whole band is a three piece. They all travel in one tiny little hatchback car with all their equipment. We drive a Nissan Versa and there's just enough room to fit everything and have a spot for one person in the back and two people in the front. We stuff stuff into stuff like this, hides inside the southern drum, and then I hand it off. And this is everything, including drum kit, drums, bass, guitar. bass amp, guitar, guitar amp, merch, merch, and our blankets, blankets, and backpacks. Yeah. How are you guys able to tour? First time we all saved up our own money and then paid for all the gas. Like we, we do a paper route together, and during the holiday season, Christmas, winter, whatever you may call it. Uh, we get tips and like we didn't know that they would be so large of amount of tips but once we found out then we used that because we made like a, a thousand dollars in tips and it's like okay now we're driving somewhere. So tip your paper boy you never know what kind of project he's trying to <laughs> <laughs> achieve. <laughs> Bass should probably go over by the drums. Um, it's probably like hi hat type. Um. Once we were set up in the room, Abby started jamming the bass line and we all kind of joined in and I was thinking it was actually sounding pretty cool. You could, you could be on one path and you could have a song or a riff or something together and it sounds really cool but if everyone's not feeling it or it's not inspiring everyone then you gotta just move on or or maybe you save that for later. Maybe that's another song for another album or another band. But so that was kinda happening a little bit. What are you thinking, Davy? I don't know. It's not sure. That's huh? not sure. I, that's not sure. That's not sure. Is it, what what do you is it what is it? I don't know. I mean it does, it's not that it doesn't sound cool. It sounds cool, I just don't know what the I don't hear it yet. We wanted to all be inspired by it, so I think we kind of just threw some stuff away and kept moving. I want to start playing around with the other, that other idea you had. 
can make up a separate thing and then eventually you can combine them too? Maybe. Is that what you're it saying? Might, it might come together or we might just go off on another tangent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with that. things with Mr. Clit and the Pink Cigarettes is that they um, they don't have any formal training in music whatsoever. Not that I do really or Greta, but they have this really interesting way of describing what they're doing because they don't necessarily know where A or G or E is on the fretboard. If that's the beginning, it's so mean at the beginning that then we can do it twice and then cut it off and yeah. like, then go somewhere else. Yeah. Quiet, loud, quiet, loud on the last hit of the loud. Just crash, 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 crash. Wow! We kind of worried that, that you guys might find out that we're not. Uh, you, you like you peer behind the glass and be like, man, this is, these guys are not a real band. These guys are not perfect. They do not bring anything real to the table. No. So working with them was really cool because it didn't prevent any musical ideas happening. They'd just describe it in a totally different way. So rather than going, you know, go up to this chord or, or that chord, they, they would just kind of describe it in a much more uh, physical manner. Everything just falls in the trash can, right. is what it sounds like, and then something comes out of it. Yeah. As Cool. Well, we're pretty <laughs> limited to what we can do. Yeah. It's like, like if Rob, Robin starts wailing on his guitar, it's like, well, I guess I'll sit here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what note is that? Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. vocals we're talking about themes and we're all gonna say what we like and then vote at the end mm -hmm. like can't like what we like yeah. like or what our ideas are oh, okay. so robin has this this is my thing this is my idea <laughs> this is what i put forth and that is that it should be a love story about conjoined twins who have been separated and they want to be put back together because they're missing something in their life i keep hearing i couldn't help it so it's like Oh, I wanted to do this. I couldn't help it. Like, because you have different brains, but you're the same person. I couldn't help Maybe it. Maybe they're criminals. <laughs> they, like, shoplift, or they get in fights, or they, like, kind of extreme behavior. But they couldn't help it. They can't help it. The one, the one is not in on the crime. The other one's the Yeah. I, I couldn't help it. I'm I just yeah, yeah, because like a guilty by association, so you're like idle hands. So the the um, the video idea uh, came about fairly early on, actually, in the recording process. I do this a lot, you know, with our own songs. A lot of times before the songs even finished, I already have a video idea, and I think that was happening, you know, when we came together. When you yeah. heard the music, what did you hear? What, what came to your mind? <laughs> Honestly, it was mostly I was thinking about cats. <laughs> oh. We can all be like cute, like black cats from like the '60s, like the girls, like. Yeah. And I like then that. I don't know what they're doing, but. <laughs> it kind of goes with this. Mm, yeah, because like kind of and we always kind of dress '60s, 60s yeah. anyways. We could get cat ears and like. Stuff. That can be our inspiration, and we're like three crime fighter cat girls, and they're like the bad guys that have like the swirly mustaches, yeah. and we have to fight them. I like that. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> The, the sort of the overlays, the overdubs that we would do were kind of along the theme of that 60s caper spy theme that, that kind of the lyrics and the, uh, and the idea about the, the actual the vocals uh, push forward. That's a fucking cool sound. Mm -hmm. So 
last night, we we started kind of coming up with video ideas last night, but before the song was even done, <laughs> and we started coming up with, we're gonna make like little cat hats, and that yeah. we're kind of the cute girls, and the boys are like the villains, but maybe we're really the villain. And um, what's the basic story premise? All I thought of is that these cute cat girls that looks like they're doing cute cat girl things and then all of a sudden you look more at it and they're doing some pretty mean stuff. They even talked about like trying to make it like three scenes so or three deaths so mm. kind of have that structure. Oh okay yeah yeah so, like, so yeah uh, like, like if, if they're the two front ladies the pretty cat girls and me you and Asia are the backing mustachioed men and like I said It'd, it'd be hilarious. Asia has her her big pigtails and then a mustache like me and you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it'd be fun. Okay, let's go visit Dave and get fun outfits for our performance. Yeah, for some clothing, we went to some local thrift stores, and we also went to Villains Vintage Clothing Shop, who's run by a friend of ours, Dave Geiger, and uh, wanted to just see what we could find. Good. Robin got this jockey outfit, which I don't know. That's so cool. <laughs> My outfit was complete pretty quick. I, I thought jockey outfitted guitar player was, was a pretty cool look. I need a like, jockey hat. <laughs> I have a purple horse ready. You do? Yeah. We already had the whole concept kind of nailed down, so it was just about like getting the props and just putting it together. I would say sew it, fit it on the head, oh, and then cut it out. So to like here? I need so the girls were kind of in charge of uh, creating these um, cat type hats. And then um, then I was outside with the rest of the crew and we created, again, just like really cheesy, kind of crappy um, uh, props. Let's make this into a store window. So we'll make a sign that says like village store or something. And then maybe we can get a like a post and just have bus like a bus stop, like a really crappy bus stop type um, sign. I'm not. Do we have binoculars? Oh, it just has to be I two have toilet a, toilet yeah. rolls. Two old ones. Um, I could just be doing this. Binoculars. <laughs> you can yeah. Do that, but that's what it is. So. Or binoculars <laughs> or Asia's hands. So the first thing will, will be like. I look out and I'm looking completely the wrong way. <laughs> and then you you tap me on the shoulder. And yeah, you're looking that way. It was cool working with the guys because they all they're all very creative and I get the feeling they have a big knowledge of, of like strange movies because um, their band is very cinematic in what they do, um, in in the way they present themselves. They create their own sort of mini movies and music videos they're always really creative so it was really cool to have them kind of have a knowledge of certain uh, this certain kind of b-movie way of thinking so this is my stunt double for the evening <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much my brother can do really cool flips and he's really physically fit so anytime we can get him Anytime I can make him do flips, I do. In keeping with the uh, the feel of everything, it, it just felt so right to have an obvious stunt double in it. The other thing to do would have been to have a uh, uh, like a dummy fall out of a building onto the floor, um, but we just didn't have a tall enough building for that, so we we settled for the for the stunt double. <laughs> Some cool stuff with like speeding up the the uh, the the sync of the of the song and shooting it at a higher frame rate. So then when you slow it down, um, it goes what well, slow it goes slow motion, but the lyrics are in in uh, in time. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I just sing regular. Am I supposed to go like fast? Go with singing. Go with it. Yeah. 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 Everybody think they got it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. I can't really see underwater. So is that a wrap? <laughs> That's a wrap. Woo!
Oh, it's just, yeah, reveal. Oh, the reveal, yeah. Oh, dang it. I, I was thinking, since you guys didn't even look back, like, you guys, it doesn't even have to show. You it guys just be purely in. to the it camera. Show yeah. To the camera, like. Yeah. Yeah, just And then up. they're, and then and we're then, all three dancing. And then we're gonna do if, you had, if this was all we had to do in life, not sleep or eat either, it would be really fun. No. Mm -hmm. No. I want to sleep and I want to eat. I love sleep. Thank you. If you want to stay awake forever, feel okay. free. I do. I've always said that I think it, it would be really cool to not have to sleep and to live forever because I feel like I would never get bored. I think people would stop inviting us over after shows. Like, <laughs> is she going to just stay awake all night and just sit there? Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. It's time to review the final video and uh, upload it. Dave's ready. Gabby ready. Aisha ready. Let's do this. So here it is, uh, the new video which we created featuring us, Well Hung Ha, and I guess for episode two. Mr. Clit and the Pink Cigarettes and forces combined have become the villainous kitty cat gang in uh, what was the song called? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's the song. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, one thing we didn't tell you during the show was that we actually recorded a second song um, because we finished everything and it was about midnight and we went, what should we do? And we said, well, we could record another song. So we, we just wrote and recorded another song there. And we thought it'd be really cool to let you hear it. But if you want to hear it, you're going to have to go to uh, maiden48.bandcamp.com and you'll be able to order a seven inch vinyl. This isn't it, this is a Mr. Clit seven inch vinyl, which you can get from their shows. But we're gonna do a Villainous Kitty Cat Gang seven inch uh, single with an exclusive song that can only be heard on that seven inch. So go to 
maiden48.bandcamp.com and order it now. The lyrics are Black make it black, baby. Which was my way of describing like, shut off the lights and let's get together. <laughs> They're not dubious, they just sounded dubious. Maybe, maybe oh, yeah, we yeah, don't, yeah. maybe we should say, what can I, can we say black, make it black, baby? Yeah, black, yeah. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So black, it's a black baby, it's, yeah. it's, it's black, make it black, baby. Yeah. When we first started the song, we didn't know whether we were going to use loops or a drum machine or, um, and uh, I can play drums a little, Todd can play drums a little. Um, but it became pretty evident that we actually wanted all to be in the room together and record the song kind of so it had a real live feel. And so we called. Um...